Seven game hitting streak to eight. You think he does, right? No, Brett Boone, nice play, gets Gwyn at first, but he'd single later. Reds down 4-3, Trevor Hoffman on for the Padres, facing Reggie Sanders with the bases full. Sanders blasts one, gets under it. James Mouton would get it. Padres happy, why? <laughs> they win their sixth of the year. Andy Mound for the Giants, and he has quick reflexes. Two outs, top of the first, Barry. Right line drive Reader. right back to Reader. The inning is over. Top of the second, Astros down one. Runner on first and second, Sean Barry brings him home field. with his second home Lines run of the year for Barry. 4-2 Houston. To the six we go, two outs, Stan Javier. Javier. The grounder, look at Jeff Bagwell, Bagwell all over it. The diving play and then the out of first. One, two, three inning Jeff for Bagwell. Houston. Yeah, was it was 4-2 nice. Houston, top of the seventh. Craig Biggio on first, Derek Bell. This is deep. Center Golf field. shot. Right over Hamilton, Daryl Hamilton. Deep Still enough for a two-run home run. run. Bell's second of the year. Uh, and that would do it home run for, Derek. for Houston. A 6-3 victory. Jose Lima, who made just one start last year, is now... Edgar Martinez looking. Irabu, five strong innings, struck out seven. Joe Torre, a little pat on the back. Same thing from uh, Mel Stoudemire. All right. But in the bottom of the night, Mike Stanton gave up a home run to make it a 4-3 Yankees lead. He walked Joey Cora, wound up on second on A-Rod single, and then, uh-oh, Ken Griffey Jr. And Stanton gets him to fly out harmlessly to left field. Torre and the Yankees dodging one bullet with one out. Here's Edgar Martinez, grounds into the game ending. Six, four, three, double play. Torrey can't believe what he just saw. Gets through Griffey and Martinez to get out of town with a 4-3 win. Stanton barely protected the 4-2 lead. Chad Curtis handed him by belting a two-run shot off of eventual loser Bobby Ayala in the eighth. The Yankees, top of the fourth, no score. Blackjack McDowell facing John Valentin. And Valentin, he got it. A left field solo shot. Valentin's first homer of the year. And some offense for the Red Sox. It's one nothing. Bottom of the six bases juiced for Tim Salen. Salmon. Salmon. Base hit. Here comes Matt Wallback. Here's the throw from Darren Bragg. Darren Erstad. Safe. 2 1 Angels. Top of the seventh. One out for Reggie Jefferson at first. And Jack McDowell facing Mike Benjamin. Swing. Blackjack. Eight innings pitch, six strikeouts. The Bo Sox had the tying run on third with two outs in the top of the ninth, and Mike Benjamin struck out by Troy Percival to end it. The Angels win it. Two to one. McDowell, eight innings pitch, seven hits. One. Four one two on for big Mark McGuire. Two out base hit. That scored Gary Gaetti and the pitcher Manny Ibar. Two singles, two RBIs, one RBI shot of 1,000 for his career for Mark. Jamie's crying, that's in Jamie Wright. Nothing like getting a little Van Halen reference in the program. Fourth walk of the inning, six for the game, six earned runs, two and two-thirds work. Wright is 0-2. Cards up 10-5, bottom six bases loaded for Ellis Burks. The Major League leader in home runs with five. Would he get his sixth? Uh, no, but he'll take that bases clearing triple. He was a homer shy of the cycle, was Ellis Burks. Cards only up 10-8 now, St. Louis. Makes it up. Ray Langford, a two-run home run, the first of the year for Langford. The cards were up 12-8 and were on their way to another victory. The second straight game, they were up 9-1 in this game and sort of had to hang on for the victory. Against Brian Anderson, and Anderson would get Piazza to strike out, and the Dodgers faithful let him hear it. Oh, man. One way to get him signed, right? Wrong. <laughs> Diamond backs up one nothing. George Fabregas unloading one off of Hideo Nomo. The first of the year for Fabregas, it's 2-0, Arizona. Bottom four, and after being staked with three-zip lead, Anderson facing the meat of the Dodger lineup. Yeah, Mike Piazza was meat. Grounding out, one out, Todd Zeal strikes out, two down, and then Raul Mondesi, another weak ground out. Anderson scatters seven hits through eight scoreless innings, and Arizona wins the game. The Diamondbacks get their first-ever road victory, first shutout, and first back-to-back -back homers. Pittsburgh tonight they ran into Esteban Loiza asked the big cat Loiza needed only 84 pitches through eight innings bottom three Jason Kendall gets to his former battery mate in Denny Nagel a two run home run for Kendall Kendall was three for four in this game three one bucks after three it was five one Pirates in the ninth Braves making a run with Chipper on second Galarraga Homerina right off Loiza his second dinger of the night three for the year for the big cat five three nobody out but Rich Loizel would finally quiet the Atlanta threat getting Michael Tucker to fly out deep and that would be it and the Pirates hold on to win it said Denny Nagel who day one man on.
for the A's in the bottom of the ninth. And Mike Blower singles off Mike Jackson. Jackson supposedly the closer for Cleveland this year. But now the score, the uh, tying run is in scoring position at second base. Mike Hargrove a little concerned, but Scott Spezio pops at the center field. Kenny Lofton makes the catch and gets me out of this page one voiceover. Thank you very much. Cleveland improves to 6-0, still the only unbeaten team in the majors at least. Scheduled contest. one nothing A's, bottom of the fourth. Dave Burba gets Matt Stairs. How do you call know? it swinging. Right, huh? How do you know about the well, press on nails? Well, I'll tell you later. <laughs> okay. Jason Giambi looking. Burba retired, retired 16 batters in a row. Kenny Rogers matching him strikeout for strikeout. The top of the seventh, Pat Border swinging. Next batter, Jeff Branson swinging. Rogers allowed four hits in seven innings. So we're still tied at one in the bottom of the seventh. A.J. Hinch, your rookie catcher for the A's. Singles and Matt Stairs for the go-ahead run. The A's take a 2-1 lead and go on a win. 3-1. It's Cleveland's first loss of the season. A steal a bag in the top of the first. Oh, it's an errant throw by Terry Steinbach. Two batters later, Jose Canseco lines it to right. Alex Ochoa loses it in the lights. Jay score four in the first. Tom Kelly stoic. But let's cut to the chase. Bottom of the ninth. Base is loaded for the Twins. Down by three and two out. Randy Myers facing Ron Coomer. Rips it in a great diving stab by Alex Gonzalez to second for the force, and that'll wrap it up. Blue Jays barely hold on to win 9-6. The Twins rained at Wrigley. And so Mark Grace providing the entertainment ad-libbing, throwing balls out to the fans, and some lucky guy with a good arm would aim and fire and get it into the bucket. Yes! Sign him up! Three years, $10 million. Get a little souvenir action here. He's get the, get the bag, get the ball. Mark Grace. Back on Thursday night. Bottom one, no score men on first for Mike Piazza. Mike. Peace. Oh, peace out. Takes the curveball deep to left. Two run homer. First homer. First RBI of the year. Took him 30 at bats to do it. Bottom three. Sacks Jack. Mike Piazza with some fat wood and some fat noise. Sixth career grand slam. 18th career multi homer game. Devon White runs after it. Leaps at it. Cannot hold on to the ball. Said Piazza. I feel like I turned a page and moved on. Los Angeles wins it. Seven. To two in one game, the jeers that he heard from the crowd turned into cheap. He's done an error. Ground ball QV, ball. routine DP. A scary play right there. Langston going in trying to break up, break up the throw from Larkin, gets hit in the left hand. But he comes back. It actually woke him up. <laughs> He'd retire nine straight in between the fourth and seventh after he got hit. Chris Gomez squares to bunt. Perez's throw to third. Late. Greg Vaughn is safe. They're loaded. There are nobody out. Next batter, Jordan. Pitch on the way. Ouch! Gets hit. That was an 0-2 pitch. He tried to get inside on him and hit him. Sweeney goes to first, and then Ken Caminiti, and this thing is still traveling. It's still going. Three-run shot traveled. No score. Derek Bell go. facing Mark Gardner. Show this swing my way. way Bell's the third homer of the year. He's hitting 424. He's got 15 RBI, two zip Astros. Throws up 3-1 in the seventh. C.J. Nitkowski in to close it. Gets Bill Miller swinging. San Javier goes down facing Brian Johnson. Yes, indeed. Three perfect innings for Nitkowski. Astros win the game 3-1. Nitkowski first. And allowed 16 stolen bases and 17 tries. They really tried to stop that tonight. Well, Jimmy Key goes over here in this situation six times. Holding the guy, give Boyle a chance, make Damon think about a few different things. Gave him the same move, same move, same move. Finally, he decided to run. Boyle came up throwing, a little catch with interference. So we're going to sit. He ends up getting him. Let's see the follow through. He just. Hits the mask, everything. They send him back. He tries it again, and Hoyle this time delivers and gets him out. But by mixing it up, you give the runner something different to look for. Now, if you're the runner, the next time you got to figure out what you're going to do. Well, he goes first movement on Jimmy Keith and says, forget that. I'm taking off. He steals a bag. It worked perfectly. Laying down a bunch. The third. Oh, what a play by Jimmy Key. Orioles defense saved them tonight. Great reaction by Jimmy Key right there to, to make the gamble and get the out at third base and then filling his own position, getting the, the home the first double play. Key getting himself out of another jam. Top seven, still 1 0 Royals. Cal can and Cal will. Gone. Tied at one. He moves into solo 45th on the all time hit list. Two one O's now in the eighth. Bases are loaded. There is nobody out. Play of the game. King to left. Shane Halt is going to run on B.J. Surhoff. 
Did Hoyles do a good enough job blocking the plate? Well, look at him sit right on the plate and force Halter to have to go through him to get to the plate. He did. Highlights before we talk about that attitude. With men on. And is he the hottest hitter right now in baseball? Sean Green to first, Ortiz. Tags Fernandez, caught off second. He throws to Mears, Shannon Stewart, then breaks for home, and it all breaks apart. Well, it's a crazy play. When you got Brad Radke on the ropes, you got to put him away. Right there, Mears doing the right thing. Get the ball to the shortstop. Let him handle it. Bottom three. Twins are up. Three zip. Base is loaded. And uh-oh. Ortiz, little bloop single to left off Guzman. Two-run score. Frickies are up five zip. Cooper then goes to right. Six nothing. Then Orlando Merced. Seven nothing. How about Sean Green? Is he the hottest hitter in baseball right now? Well, he's got such a great stroke. Look at him go inside out with that ball. What happens when you're able to go inside out? You can stay and wait on a pitch longer. It allows you to hit the breaking ball, the change up, everything. Look at that. Just a pretty stroke. We're trying to get him to pull the ball a little bit more. If he starts to do that, he will be the complete pack. He's home in four straight games. Matt Lawton launch pad. Off Kelvin Escobar, second home run of the game. 10-2 Twins, and they win as they had a field goal. 13 runs, 13 hits. 43 so far, but against John Lieber, he hits almost 500. In the top of the second, hammer job. 2 nothing Braves, top four. Plus go up again, deja vu. Look out, just inside the left field foul pole. He goes two for three with two homers and three RBI. Six, two on, two down. Oh, Kevin Millwood fools Jose Guillon. He had seven Ks. Bottom nine, Wollers gets himself in trouble. Men on second and third, and then gets out of it. Young, game, set, match. Wollers' second save of the season. Atlanta wins it by one. Al Martin struggling big time at the plate. His average. Henry Rodriguez loves the chilly weather. The wind was blowing in from left. Strong like bull. He knocks it out. He's got three. Bottom two, two zip. Mickey Morandini to the right field corner. Traxel, the pitcher, would come around to score. But look at Rich Becker, HR. Well, if you think you can't get to it and you can hold your hands up and call it a ground rule double, that's what you try to do. Guess Umpire what? comes out and has to make the call. Umpire says, nope, you could have got it. Morandini gets a triple. Mets come back from a 4 nothing deficit to the Cubs, 7-3 when Ordonez goes to left, and oh, Henry. Castillo scores 7-4 to the ninth, 8-7 Cubs. Last season, they blow this game. This season, the wind blows the ball into the right direction, and Morandini throws out. And the Cubs win two down, and Mark McLemore goes right back up the middle. Elster and Luis Alicea both score three nothing Rangers. The key, though, defense. Harold. Love work. The Rangers are one of the best defensive teams in the American League. Watch Will Clark now. Check this. So look at Kevin Elster. He starts with the glove down up to make the tag. That's how you pick the short hop. You start with the glove down and up. It's a little theme for us, Carl. Down and up. Down on the ground. Up. Pretty double play there. Back real with the, the down and up pick. Frank Thomas, Tatis, oh, what a play right here. Or Alisea, excuse me, but look at Will Clark, woo! Ready, thrill, ready. Down and up, all right, Pudge has been up the whole year. Back to Mabry is off second, Mark Thompson, Gary Eddie, ball four. Don Baylor starting to pace. Next batter, Tommy Lampkin. Tommy Lampkin, remember that name now, Portland on. Wait. Second of the year, 5-4 cards. To the eighth, they're up 6-5. Daddy is on second after an RBI double. Portland zone, Tommy Lampkin. Well, Tony La Russa is the type of manager when a player is hot, he's gonna stick with you. He's gonna ride that horse to the end. And Lampkin is on fire right now. 7-5 cards, bottom nine, first and second, nobody down. Ellis Burks coming up for Colorado off Brantley, and what a great play by Gaetti. He was playing on the grass and still stopped at 5-4-3. Walker represented the tying run now with two down. He goes deep, we're loaded, and he doesn't do anything. Good play by David Howard. St. Louis wins it. Brantley activated before the game and pays dividends. Start at seven. Two balls and two he thought it was going to be six, or vice versa. He thought the game started at seven, but in fact, it started at six. He couldn't start. Steve Woodard goes instead. And Steve Woodard gets tagged by one of the best young hitters in the game, Brad Fulmer. one nothing Expos. How about Jeremy Burdens? Well, we talked about him the other night. He's just got a great approach to the plate. He is hammering everything. He's going to be a star. 3-1 Brewers. Jose Mercedes gets into the game in the fifth and promptly gives up an RBI single to Mark Rajalanik. 3-2. 
Yeah. Just like Paul Molitor hitting right there, or what? Bottom five, Marquis Grissom, the batter, and Grissom into right center. Rondell White, hey. looked like he was running in mud out there. Valentin scores 4-2 Brewers. It's 5-3 Milwaukee, Guerrero's at second, Fulmer's at first, and Rondell White says, you know what, if he hit it to right center, nobody can get there. I know, I've been there. White goes four for four. F.P. Santangelo, little blooper that drops. Snowball scores and the Expos go on and win six to five. And again, Jose Mercedes just got the game started an hour after it actually did.